Hello, we're at the Testo Calibration Lab, and what we'd like to do is demonstrate CO measurement on two Testo 320s. We've got people ask us questions. I'm connecting the analyzers right now. People ask us questions about CO measurement, and what we're trying to do, what we're going to demonstrate is how a CO measurement can be affected by the natural occurring NOx in a flue gas. Right now we're running two analyzers on a NO gas at 39.4 ppm. And as our analyzers use filters on the CO sensor, <clears throat> the CO sensor will not respond to the NO calibration gas. As you can see right here, we have no reading on CO on either of the instruments. Part of this test, what we're going to do is take one of our analyzers and remove the NOx filter from the analyzer. So here are the, the TESTO sensors. This happens to be the CO sensor. This is how it can be removed. It's a smart sensor, easy to replace. What we're going to do is remove the top of the sensor and take the media out so that it will not scrub the nitric oxide during the measurement. And many flue gas analyzers use sensors that don't include this material. I'll put it back in. Okay, now we're back at the calibration lab and we're running the same analyzers on the nitric oxide calibration gas at 39.4 ppm. Uh, the only difference is, is that analyzer number two has got a CO sensor with a NOx filter removed. So we'll start both analyzers and what you'll see is the oxygen coming down and we immediately see a CO reading on the sensor that does not have the NOx filter. The one that does have NOx filter is, is reading correctly. There should be, there is no CO in this calibration gas. What this demonstrates is that if you're using an analyzer that doesn't have a NOx filter or has a depleted NOx filter, you can be measuring CO at the wrong concentrations. So the gas that we're running is 39.4 nitric oxide, and this analyzer is showing a CO reading on nitric oxide, and that's what's not correct. All of our analyzers that Testo makes have CO sensors that utilize NOx filters. So as you can see, you could be almost up to 30% off. Okay, now we're gonna retest the same analyzers but using a higher concentration NO calibration gas at 805 ppm. I think this demonstrates the matter, or should I say the phenomenon of cross sensitivity on the CO sensor pretty obviously. So on an 800 ppm cal gas, the CO sensor is reacting to the NO cal gas as on the other analyzer, the CO sensor with the NOx filter has no reaction at all. So analyzer one is measuring correctly, analyzer two, we're over 200 ppm, so we're approaching that 30% positive cross sensitivity. So as you can see, having a NOx filter on the CO sensor is a very important feature that's needed.